how to adjust the bracelet on the new MTG B3000. It is different to the older version and in this video I'm going to show you how you take links out. When you take your links out you probably want it you know to try and make sure that you take out the correct number you know each size so that it hangs down with the clasp at the bottom ideally so you know don't take you know, a whole load of links from one side only I found because I took five links I obviously had to take three links from one side and two links from you know from the other side so you're probably going to be taking three from the bottom and two from the top depending on how many you need to take you might find you just need two from each side now in order to get these off you do need um, some basic tools I'll show you what you need you need a pair of pliers um, you don't necessarily need huge chunking weight pliers like that just uh, you know regular small pliers will be plenty and you need the pointy end of this here you don't need the so you don't need the strap remover but you want the tongue remover on this side now you can get these with a very very long thin pointer on it now if you get that you might be able to do without the pliers but in most of our arsenals we will have one of these and a pair of pliers they have a brand new link system on these so when you look at the the B1000 and B2000 the back of this is different and I believe that with those you have a little metal grommet that goes inside where the pin goes and you have to be careful not to lose that pin but you don't have that position you don't have that with this so this is a much better proposition just for convenience we'll do it on these if you want to you can put some tape around the holes but realistically I just I just wouldn't bother and in all honesty I've been poking and prodding you know these quite a lot so they don't really seem to scratch so basically you take your pointer and you just squish it through and then this bit here comes out and then get your pliers and like I said even these big pliers work fine it's a bit Anyone in the United Kingdom familiar with emu, for some reason, this is reminding me of emu. No, it, is, it is tight, so you've got to give it a, a pretty good pull. You do need quite a lot of pressure on it. Now you'll notice that when we, if we go to put the pin just in that one there, it won't, it won't stay. So in other words, these holes here, have no gripping mechanism. The gripping mechanism is some neat clever gizmos that goes on in that and that you know even just pushing it in that very little way that is tight and and I can't even pull it out. <laughs> That's the actress of the bishop. And I can't, and I can't even pull it out. Um, you know, from just that teeny weeny bit inside. So we get our pliers again, and then it comes out. So your gripping mechanism is this new backing system here to put it back together again. Obviously, when it's on the back of the watch, you know, it's a little bit more fiddly. Now, one thing you do have to be careful of 
is when you're putting it back together again, difficult to film it and see what I'm doing at the same time. So when you're putting it back together again, you do just so there, it's lined up this side here, but you do have to be careful that this bottom part here doesn't come out or doesn't move in the insertion <laughs> process because if it does and you have this funny angle thing here and it it comes out the, the hole down there it's really difficult to get that pin back out again so I did it once and I definitely don't recommend doing it again make sure that it's lined up up here as well so kind of keep your finger on it and this is where pliers do come in handy and then basically make sure that it's lined up up here so that's that's important and then push all the way down and then you can see that that has caught through there now of course you do have this tiny piece here now this is where it does get a little bit fiddly so this is where you need your your pin thing here and and then you just need to very carefully just coax it in like that you can do it even if you're careful with it you can do it without sticking it in your finger you've got the watch then obviously you just push through there use emu pull it out and then you might just need to remove two or three pins this side and maybe two or three pins this side and then you just obviously just join them join it back up again and like I said, it's a little bit um, fiddly when you're doing it here. But again, you know, when you put everything back together again, you can, you know, push down, you know, like that with that. And that put, and then that, that works perfectly well. And then again, just use your little tool there. Just <laughs> get your little tool out and then you know just gently just make sure that they are you know in you know pushed in but don't push too hard because if you give it too much of a wallop it will come out the other end and then you've got to you know <laughs> you're kind of inning and outing with it a little bit that way in a nutshell that's how you do it and like i said if you balance it you know quite right with the you know the correct number then that's how we wear the watch so this is the bottom so you can see I've taken more pins from this side because you've got the long thing here and then this piece along the bottom you know is is flat and level there and then and obviously if you need to make micro adjustments then you could just pull that pin out there and then move this backwards and forwards there. I did try, sorry this is going on a bit now, but I did try moving this pin down to here and adding in one link. Um, and then thinking that if it was like summer and, and warm, I could just move it along the line a little bit. But when I added one link, and brought this down here I couldn't get the sizing right so the only way I could get the sizing right was to take out the five and to put the pin in at the very end and that was the only way that I could that I could get this one to fit and that's a very nice fit there so that is how you remove a link or links from your new MTG B3000. Hope you found this video helpful.
and informative. Please like, put a comment below, subscribe, share, hit the notification button to all and I will see you in the next video. I do very much appreciate you watching this video and if you are one of the few that get to the end of this video then you have helped the channel more than more than the average. Thank you very much.